I don't think it took very long for us to realize that, that we really had great chemistry. Well, Spring Creek is, uh, is a bluegrass band. Uh, that, and we started, uh, I guess it'll be four years um, this June. We've been playing our, uh, I guess, our brand of bluegrass music um, now for quite some time and just having a great time. I met Taylor about five years ago. I was actually hitchhiking out to go fly fishing on the Lake Fork of the Gunnison River. And uh, he told me that he was working at a, uh, like a fly fishing guest ranch out there and, and they had live music made up of the staff. And so I just started going out there and playing some fiddle and playing some mandolin with them and became friends with these guys and the following, following year, following summer, we put the band together. I grew up singing in a family uh, of like traditional shape note singers, which if you don't know what that is, it's uh, soul fetish to some people or um, gospel music down in Texas. Decided I wanted to be more involved, so I started playing electric bass, and then the more and more I got into bluegrass, I picked up the upright and um, just been in love with it ever since. I think my biggest inspiration as a guitar player was while I was at school down in South Plains, down in Texas, and I, uh, I got to study underneath a fellow by the name of Joe Carr. So I think he was my biggest inspiration as far as uh, guitar playing goes. I have kind of a long uh, line of rural musicians that were from Kentucky, and that's that's kind of my background. And uh, so that, and it was always in my family. And uh, I just really like the banjo. I like the sound of it. This is what we all do. Well, I could die. I think that anyone who plays music is influenced by the other people that they play music around, and that's a big part of it. A band called Country Gazette has always been a big influence to me, and I, and and you know the band as a whole as well. just uh, I bought a new band from a, from a guy named Caleb Roberts who used to play in a front range bluegrass band called Open Road. And, uh, and all we have in there right now is a tape player. Um, so on our, <laughs> on our way out here we were listening to... Um, Thriller. Awesome. Yeah, we listened to Thriller. Yeah, Thriller. It's Michael Jackson, big yeah. bluegrass influence. Yeah. Yes. Now the babies took sick and they cry all the time. There ain't a thing on this earth I can do. Oh, we listen to it. We like Larry Sparks. We listen to Hot Rise. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the, the bands that are playing now, like Steep Canyon Rangers, we like, we like them quite a bit. We're very excited about this new record. Uh, it's called Lonesome Way to Go and it should be out the very first part of March. We like to cover a lot of the traditional music, you know, Bill Monroe stuff quite a bit. And then we like to, you know, do uh, pop songs like uh, Elton John covers. We do uh, Honky Cats. We've, in the past, we've done like Eleanor Rigby. That was kind of a fun Beatles cover that we used to do. 
but uh, just like heaven from the cure. Oh yeah, the cure. We do kind of like fun songs sometimes. Yeah. You know, something that's not quite blue, like you know the traditional music, but just stuff that people know and people have heard. So I think we 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 like the classic stuff. Love listening to old bluegrass music, Flat and Scruggs, and old Don Reno stuff. We were uh, the first band ever to win both the Rocky Grass and Telluride band competitions. And this year, as a prize, we get to play, uh, open up the Friday of the festival. So we're really, really excited about that. So I'm not quite sure the lineup yet, but I know it's going to be really good. They never let you down. Um, we started this band out in Crested Butte, Colorado, like Alex was saying, and um, we've been interested in, uh, they have a project going there that's called Save Red Lady, which is uh, one of the mountains there that's just west of town and um, a company is trying to buy it back and uh, make a molybdenum mine and the town's trying to um, save it because it would really change the whole uh, dynamic feel of the town. So I think um, pretty early on we, we realized that we were great friends and we could make great music together. So. <laughs>